Hey guys, it's me in addition, and we have finally reached 20,000 subscribers. Actually, in the making, there's like 20.1, but whatever, 20k! Woo! Now, I didn't really quite know what to do for a 20k special, but I, there were some things I promised to you guys, so I'm going to finally fulfill them today. One of the things I promised was to answer a bunch of questions you guys had, specifically on my Discord. So, I have Discord open right here, and yes, that looks really dumb because it's so big. But hey, it's the best way of doing this. I don't want to, like, screen cap every single question. <laughs> also, later I'll, uh, later in the video, I will then also show some fan art you guys have been making of me, which is really nice. <laughs> and then, near the end, I'll probably show you guys what this world's all about. Hmm? Looks interesting, huh? What could it be? <laughs> Alright, I think we should just get on with the questions. First one is from Jeffy. How do you feel about the growth of the community and those around you? Lick. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I love the VRChat community so much. They're like, everyone is so friggin' friendly. It's unbelievable. We're all too nice to each other, and I love how they're all growing. Like, specifically me, Reese's, and Zygneon. I'd like to consider as a pair. The three stupids. And we've all been growing roughly at the same time. I was kind of late to the party. But yay, I finally reached 20k, so now I'm, I'm keeping up with them. <laughs> uh, it's clearly not a competition, but mm, it's fun to have a little competition. Alright, a crackle. I'm not answering that. What do you think about Grey's panties, and what would you rate it out of 10? Not answering that either. <laughs> what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I'm not quite sure what crew auto is asking here. I think it says 5 and 2 O's and a 5. And I even said right here, not sure what that one means. Because I was so confused when he asked that. I still don't know what it means. Princess Momo Belia Devaluk. Who would you roommate with? Would you date a tra- Oh, that's a lot of questions. Hold on. First one. Who would you roommate with? Okay, I would roommate with... Flare Snares, Zygneon, Reese's, Nya Nya Rebellion, Dapper Dan, Jeffy, Ashinera. I don't know, there's a bunch of people I would put in my room. <laughs> would you date a trap in real life? Eh, I'll probably say no. Not too much into that. Has Viatra made you question your sexuality? Only on like three occasions. Do you feel that you've been made a lasting friendship with those people you've met? Yes! Especially those in my Discord that I, that I hang out with in VRChat like almost daily. I think we're going to be friends for a really long time. So that's really fun. Ah, why is it? Ah, God, come on. God, that's AIDS. What music do you hear? So I'm guessing you're trying to say what music do you listen to? Um, I listen to Vocaloids. I listen to like dubstep and EDM. And that's pretty much about it, actually. I'm more like the electronic kind of music. How do you feel about you and your sister being in a harm together? That's gross. Do you like being stepped on? Why rainbow? Why not? Come on, look at me. How can you say no? What drives you to make more videos? You guys, of course. Every time you guys request a new video, or like I see you on Discord and you're all happy for me, you're like, ooh, I love, my, I love your newest video. That makes me want to do more videos. I like how his questions are like a bunch of joke questions and then there's like a serious question mixed in between. <laughs> what the heck, Momo? What advice would you give for someone starting out on YouTube? Okay. This might be a bit of a tough one to answer, but... There is some luck involved, I would say. Only reason I kind of started getting some exposure I got really lucky. I started VR chat really early when it was not a big thing on YouTube. Like before the VR chat knuckles memes, before any of that. Before people really knew what it was. It was like a ghost town when I played the game. And I only played it because my friend recommended me recommended for me to play it. He's like, hey, you want to check out this dumb game for me with me? And I was like, oh yeah, sure, why not? And that's how I found out about VR chat. I, I didn't watch any videos, no nothing. I had no idea what it was. And I, at the time, I already made some videos. I made like League of Legends and Overwatch videos. So I decided, you know, I could record some VR chat. Why not? And that kind of 
brought me up. And then once VR chat started getting some popularity with the memes and all that shit, it skyrocketed my channel. So I got really lucky to be something like that on YouTube. Um, you got to find a game that isn't all too popular yet, but you can kind of feel like it's going to be popular soon. So if you start making content first, you'll likely be successful with it. If you start late, like once there's already hundreds of different channels and you start right now, you're not very likely to get far unless you make content that's so good that it blows everything else out of the water, which I don't do. <laughs> My content's not that great. If you could say something to the fans, what would you say? Love you guys. Have you had someone stalk you yet? Yes, actually. Believe it or not, someone has done that. So, I was going to go on Facebook. I never go on Facebook, by the way. And then I got a friend request from someone. I accepted it, because usually I just say yes to every friend request. And then I went on their profile page. They had a normal name, but their middle name they put as an addition, which is already kind of creepy. And then I went into their pictures, and it was nothing but pictures of me. And I'm not talking about my VR chat me. I'm talking about real me. So I've reported them to Facebook, and they have since been taken down. But it was so creepy. Nothing but pictures of my real self. No. What was the weirdest reaction to one of your scary models? It's probably something that I haven't included in the video, but... Okay, I think I like... I, I walked up to someone and I did my whole surprise, I'm scary thing. And half the server blocked me. <laughs> I don't... It wasn't even like... I wasn't putting something on everyone's screens. All my models only put something on one person's screen. I have to like deliberately hold it in their face. But for some reason, half the server ended up blocking me. So I'm guessing they were all on the call together. So that was a little awkward. I felt real bad, so I just left the server. <laughs> so I like I could I could apologize because they blocked me. Oh, ignore that. No, I didn't rape the panties. Okay. <laughs> when are we going to get a drunken edition stream? When I buy more alcohol. I have no alcohol right now. <laughs> on that stream, I'm going to join. <laughs> when you, will you reveal your face on streaming? I've, I've been asked this question a lot. When are you going to show everyone your face? Some people are even saying, do it on your 20k. And I was like, uh, I don't really know. I think when I'm more successful than I am now, I would say 50k. Let's say 50k. That's more than double of what I have now. That's a, I think that's a safe, safe margin for me. <laughs> Not quite sure if I, could, if, if I will ever reach 50k, but that's why I put it as my reveal sub count goal. Yeah, so you heard it here first. 50k and I will reveal my face. Deal? Deal. Do you like it when I slurp you derp? When will you do a face reveal? I just answered that. When will you stream? <laughs> okay, I think Masumi is making a joke. I keep promising to stream, but then I don't end up streaming, mostly because I'm busy with editing. And for me, editing comes first. I will always put editing before streaming. So usually I stream on just whenever I don't feel like editing and I, I just want to play some VR chat. That's when I stream. I might even stream after posting this video. Who knows? If you had to choose between genetically engineered cat girls or curing cancer, what type of cat girl would you get? Wow, I butchered that so hard. Black and white. I don't feel like that's an appropriate question. <laughs> what history does your family tree have? Oh. Um... A lot of German. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pretty sure everyone in my family tree is German. Why won't you look at me during? <laughs> These were supposed to be serious questions. <laughs> Cuss blasphemy. You're too beautiful. I would die. I couldn't handle the pressure. What were your first thoughts of the dirt model from Winterworld? I mean, I think it's clearly obvious. I loved it so much. I needed to have my own. What's your favorite anime? Kill a Kill. Love Kill a Kill. It's my favorite anime. When is the next upload? I feel like it's a troll question. Can you poi? Oh god. I I... <laughs> Alright. Let's hope no one's in here. Poi? There. What has been the most fun video to edit? Oh, that's actually a good question. 
Which edio video did I have the most fun in while editing? I would have to say Specimen 8, which is dear god right there. I think this was probably my most fun video to edit. I don't know why, but it was just so fun to go through. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know why it was so fun. I think I just really liked the reactions I had from people. Usually I'm like short on content. I look at through the video footage and go, uh, okay, maybe I'll include it. I'm not too big of a fan of it. But on Specimen 8, every reaction was great. It was so fun to edit. At what point did you think, hey, I'm getting noticed? Oh, um... It was around 7k. Around 7k subscribers, I was getting noticed more and more frequently. Like, I would say like every 5 or 7 worlds I would join, someone would recommend... Never, someone would recognize me. Even on like, I think one or two streams, I think it was box finish streams, I like commented and someone said, Oh my god, is that an addition? And I was like, so happy. <laughs> and then box finish was like, who's an addition? And then I was crushed. <laughs> but yeah, that was like when I first started getting some recognition and then now it's like every stream I join, if I say something, I'll have at least three to five people go, Edition! <laughs> Especially on Zygneon stream. I think a lot of people know me on his stream because we did some stuff together. There used to be more horror maps. I need to, I want to make more videos with Zygneon. It's so fun. But there's like no horror maps being released. Am I famous? Am I still number one on the list? Yes, Major Rage, you're still number one on the list. That's a little inside joke. I don't expect any of you to get that. If your chat didn't exist... I forgot to turn off my Twitch notifications. If it hasn't been asked yet, if your chat didn't exist, what would you be doing now? Probably I would still do VR, but I would just do different VR games. Maybe VR horror games, different VR games in general, like Beat Saber, you know? Just a bunch of VR games to clump together. I still kind of want to do that, but I still want to have VR chat as my main content. As you guys have guys have seen, I played Gorn, and I, there was some pretty good reaction to that. People wanted some more, so I think I'm going to do Beat Saber next, and then I'll... What other games do I have? I have Payday, I have Pavlov, I have a bunch of VR games I could do. Will you do another Rainbow Invade video? <laughs> and I've done two... I've done three so far, but I could definitely do another one. I think for the next one, I want to do something special. Though I think it's going to be really hard to set up. It's going to be me, Einan, Andis, Magic Kappa. And that's really all the derps I know. <laughs> but I want to get, like, the big derps to do a raid together. See if I can somehow organize that. I know all of them. The trouble would be getting them all together. Because I don't think all of them know each other, you know? What made you want to become a YouTuber and why? And that you're awesome, everyone enjoys the videos, keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> so what made me want to become a YouTuber? Okay, this is probably going to be kind of cringy, but... Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and PewDiePie. Yep. Told you it was going to be cringy. <laughs> I sound like some 14-year-old. Oh. Uh, okay, but to be fair, it was during middle school when I decided, okay? It was during middle school. Now, I wouldn't really say it was them, but if you want an honest answer, those were the ones that wanted me to made me decide to be a YouTuber. Because <laughs> those were like the only ones that really existed. Okay, I know there was more, but those were like the main ones. Everyone knew them. And I was like, man, I want to I wanna do that. <laughs> I want to play games, get paid for it, have a good time. <laughs> Are you sure this is a 17k? Oh yeah, I was also supposed to do this for 17k, but now it's 20k, so... <laughs> Probably going to be... Yep. Did you ever expect to find yourself in this sort of situation? Not really, actually. I had made videos before VRChat, and I think my most viewed one was like 500. And I kind of started giving up on my channel. I was like, I'm kind of done. It's clearly not working. Then I made a single VRChat video, and I think I got 2,000 views. Which was like insane for me. Because for 500, it took months. For 2k on VRChat, it took a day. So I was like, oh my god. So I made another one, and another one. And after only three VR chat videos, I was at, th I think, 3k. Like, it was insane. So VR chat, like, basically stopped me from giving up. <laughs> What's your dream PC? Well, I already have the case I want. It's a Corsair case with a side panel. 
Right now I have an i5-8400K, but ideally I would want the best CPU in the market right now. Which there's still some debate on what that one is. GPU, 1080 Ti. RGB, of course I want RGB. Mostly red and black because that's edgy. And everyone knows the red makes your PC run faster. Wait, what? That's, that's not the same person though. I meant meme. Oh. I don't get it. I don't know what they're talking about. What made you start YouTube? Kind of already answered that. Where did you get the name in addition? Oh, that's a good question. Okay, so another cringy fact with an addition. My original name was Black Raven. And yes, there were some X's involved. XX, Black Raven, XX. It was so bad. So once I like, when I decided to do VR chat and like make more videos, I thought, you know what? That name is cringy as fuck. I need a new name. I wanted something with that starts with N because my real name is Nathan. N-A-T-H-A-N. So I was like, okay, let's take N and attach it to something else to make it sound cool. So I just went through a bunch of lists attaching the word N in front of stuff to see if it works or it sounded cool. And then I landed on addition, you know, multiplication, subtraction, addition. I added the N in front of addition and addition. And I was like, you know what? Sounds good enough. I'll keep it. And that's how I became an addition. When will you become famous enough to forget about us? Never, Shiro. Never. I will always remember you. As long as you don't change your name, because if you change your name, I'm going to have a really hard time keeping track. That, that gets me the most. On Discord, some of those people change names, and then I have like no idea who they are until they tell me, hey, it's me, Shiro, if you change your name. I was like, oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Am I famous in the free unit? Of course, Major. You always be famous in my eyes. NSFW, please. That's not really a question. <laughs> Who's your favorite squirrel in addition? You are Nugget, of course. Favorite food and favorite combination of flavors. And another lake. Um, favorite food would be New Lauf Lauf, which translates to New Lagratin. I just always called it New Lauf Lauf because that's what I called it when I lived in Germany. And favorite combination of flavors? Sweet? No, sour. Sour. Super sour. It's got to burn my cheek and my tongue. What's an invention that you're extremely grateful for? Virtual reality. How to custom avatar. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> what were your expectations of any when you first started uploading videos on YouTube? Okay, I expected maybe a thousand, two thousand, at most ten thousand. Ten thousand was like the max. I was like, okay, ten thousand is the most I will ever get in my entire life. I will never be more than ten k. And here I am with twenty k. <laughs> so um, those were my expectations. I was like, maybe in like three years from now, I'll have ten k, and I'll be a moderately small channel with a small community. That was my expectation at best. <laughs> If there comes a time when you fall out of your chat, will you post random games such as what Markiplier and others do, or do you think you will always stick with your chat? That depends. I want to do VR chat for as long as possible, but I think I don't know how long VR chat is gonna last. To be honest, because sometimes it seems like it's gonna die out. Then they release an update with the cameras and players spike again, and like it's it it keeps being an up and down. So I don't know if it's ever gonna die. Hopefully it doesn't, because I really want VR chat to stick around. So if it does stick around, I'll just keep keep making VR chat videos with like other videos mixed in between, Beat Saber and all that. Like I said, so yeah, but I won't really do stuff like what Markiplier does. I don't want to do normal games. I only want to do VR games, because I guess the market on that on YouTube is a lot smaller. There's not as many people doing VR videos as there are doing normal gameplay videos. So that's what I want to do. I was like, you know what? You guys want me to play a VR game? You can't find any other channel to do it. Ask me, I'll do it. I'll play those games for you guys, don't worry. Or maybe you don't have a VR headset, but you really want to see some of these crazy VR games. I got you, all right? I got you. What happened to the rainbow shader AFK lamp? Oh God, I could never find the model for the lamp. <laughs> What's the rainbow cult? Okay, before I made my own little Discord group here, the rainbow derps, I was in a cl uh, Discord called Rainbow Cult. Oh, yep, distance between lenses. Go away, come on. We were, I was in something called the Rainbow Cult. And we all had rainbow shaders, which flash between colors. 
and we would go raid people and say, hey, join us. That's basically what we did. We just told people to join us, but we kind of ended up dropping it because we realized how dangerous it is. Dangerous it is. Why can't I say that? How dangerous, dangerous it is to go around doing that because there's people who can suffer from like seizures and stuff like that. So we kind of stopped doing raids. And then after a while, the Discord became really boring for me personally because I really like the raids. So I left and I started making my own Discord. So that was the Rainbow Code. I don't know how they're doing now. I haven't really heard anything from them. So how long can you poi? Is that a challenge? Poi? I would do it louder, but there's people in my house and it'd be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> What? Everywhere your sister's close to cross-dress. No. Oh god, no. Will you cross-dress for us? No. Where is this coming from? I'm, I'm not gonna cross-dress. <laughs> Best ship on this Discord. I could be really mean and say a certain ship that I know two people really don't like. But I won't. How do you stay motivated if you're... When you feel your channel isn't doing as well as you'd like. Okay, I actually had that at one point. I think that's when I reached 7k. When it started getting recognized, I actually kind of felt like my channel wasn't doing that well. Because I started watching other VRChat. That's when I just found out about other VRChat YouTubers. And I started doing like research. And I was like, oh, there's other VRChat YouTubers. And that's when I saw Ashinera. I saw Nerfy. I saw freaking... Nags, Ryan, and I looked at my subs compared to theirs, and I was like, uh, I'm not doing too well. They're way ahead of me. They're like miles ahead of me. So I kind of started losing some motivation, and I'm not really sure what kept me going at that time, but I think it might have been my I Am Scared video. This one right there. I, st I, I really wanted to make that model just because I like the character, and I never saw anyone in VRChat have that character. So, you know, I made the model, I wanted to show some of my friends, and they were actually kind of spooked by it. They are like, whoa, that's kind of creepy. So I was like, you know what? I could, I could make this a video. So I made it a video, and for the longest time, it was my least successful video. It was at 4K for like months, which was really bad for my channel because usually my average was 10K. That was my average, and this one was 4K for months. So I was like, okay, so clearly people really don't like this one. And I was contemplating deleting that video. And then, out of nowhere, it hit like 60k. It like spiked in views. And it was like my one of my more successful videos. Like I would say top three. And I was like, what the fuck? What's going on? Why is it getting so many views all of a sudden? And like, I think that kept me going. And then I started making more creepy videos. And I was like, okay, so people like creepy stuff. So I'll make the Dear God. I'll, I'll, well, I did Spooky Bells before that one. And I even did another white face. I made a sequel. And people really liked it. And I kept saying more and more. We want more. We want more horror models. We want, we want more scares. And like... So I just kept going... You know, making more. And that spiked... That spiked my channel again. Like, I all of a sudden went from 7k to like... 14k. It like doubled. So fast. So... That kind of... I guess motivated me. To keep going. I was like, okay. Well... I guess I found a purpose. Because one of the things that was bothering me is my channel felt like every other VR chat channel. Like Ryan Nags, you know, all the ones I previously mentioned. There's kind of a theme to their content. They all like hang out with a group of friends and they have fun and then they record it and put it on YouTube, which is fine. You know, people really like it. I like it too. I watch Ashenera like daily, even though they don't post daily. <laughs> and I watch Zygneon and I watch Reese's. I watch all of them a lot. So there's nothing wrong with it. I just really didn't like it for my channel. I was really not happy with those videos because I felt like it didn't make me unique enough. It didn't give me an identity of sorts. They would just look at me and go, oh, it's that VRChat YouTuber. And I was like, eh, not sure if I want that, but making these models, these horror models and scaring people, that like, I guess, gave me an identity in VRChat. Now a lot of people that run into me, they're like, oh, he's the guy that makes those scary models in VRChat and he scares people. And I like that. I really like that. I have like my own little theme to my channel. You know, I'm the guy that scares people. 
Zygneon is the lewd one. Reese's and Flairsnare are the traps. <laughs> Ryan is the mute. Nags. Actually, I don't watch a lot of Nags, so I'm not quite sure what he does. I should probably watch his videos. <laughs> and let's hope Nags doesn't watch this and get upset at me. Sorry, Nags. Though I highly doubt you watch my videos, so eh. <laughs> Though I love you, Ryan. Ryan, if you're seeing this, I love you. I know every once in a while you see my videos. Hopefully you see this one. I love you to death. When's your creepypasta getting released? Soon. I'm making a shit, like a really shit creepypasta in my OVR chat. I was kind of dared to do it, so be prepared for that. Why do you voice chat at night? That's usually when I'm in Discord. I usually only hang out in Discord voice chat after I'm done doing everything I have to do, which is editing and recording. And usually it takes me all day, so I know, it just ends up being at night. How tall are you? I am 5'11". I'm like borderline 6 feet. <laughs> Almost, not quite, but I'm 5'11". Hey Ned, do you know Japanese? I do not know Japanese at all, not even a little bit. Can I taste your rainbow? Of course, everyone can. As long as you're in my Discord, you can taste my rainbow. And no, that's not lewd, I think. Out of all your friends, which one would you live with IRL? Max of seven people counting you. So six people. Muffin, who was an admin on my Discord. Ainen. Nia Nia Rebellion. That's three, right? Yeah. So Nia Nia Rebellion. Mystical Cyan. Zygneon. Reese Skater. All the other ones I haven't mentioned. Sorry I didn't mention you. Trust me. I wish I had more than just that many. <laughs> I would just freaking invite you all. We would just be in a house with a hundred people. Are you bisexual? If so, what's your type? I am not. Sorry. You're being sent to a stranded island, but you can take five things. What would you take? I'll take a laptop. Um, my cell phone with service on it. Unlimited service, so I can use it for Wi-Fi. Hentai. Even more hentai. Hentai. Can you send me lots of love? Because I miss you. There you go. Lots of love. Just for you. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. I think these are questions. I've even gone through and see if I didn't miss anything. Hope you guys have all your questions answered. And for those of you that are watching and weren't in my Discord, leave, it, leave a question down in the comments below. And I will try to answer them. So, yeah. If you guys have any more questions that weren't asked or... You're just curious about something, I'll answer them. <laughs> Don't be afraid to comment. So now we're gonna take this section to show some fan art. There's not too many, so if you don't really if you're not too interested, you can skip ahead a little bit, but yeah, here we go. All right, and there we go. Hope you guys have enjoyed those. Those look really cool. I love getting fan art. If you guys have fan art and you want to show it to me, either tweet it at me or go on my Discord in addition to Derps. The link is in the description on every single one of my videos. And go to the Pictures and Fan Art tab and send me those fan arts. You even ping me if you have to. But maybe if you're not too comfortable with sharing them publicly, you can also just DM me personally. Yeah, you can just DM me personally on Discord and I'll look at them. Oh god, my face was messed up. So, now, you guys are probably wondering, what is this? What is this world? I've never seen this world. So, this is the world I'm making right now. Every single model I've used in the video to scare people will be on a pedestal for you guys to use. So, that was the Silent Hill raid. That was the old spooky video. I really want to remake this one later because it's so, like, eh. This was supposed to be a video, but... As you can see, it ended up being pretty... Oh, I got the hiccups. This one ended up being pretty broken, so I ended up not doing anything with it. I might as well, get, I might as well show you now what it does, because you guys are probably never going to see this in the video. So I have a knife, and it plays music. Yeah, as you just saw there. Look how my character messes up. Yeah. 
the hell? Yeah, it's supposed to play like a creepy song, but um, it's kind of fucked up. So yeah, this never became a thing. But I did, I do like how it made the legs. As you can see, I don't bop up and down. I literally just glide across the floor, floor, not floor. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Nope. Okay, not to mess up again. So yeah, this ended up never becoming a thing. Sorry about that. And there's the white face. This is the second white face, the one that has the cage, the creepy face. Which I don't think you guys were ever able to see because Karmas, the old Karmas mirror chat, didn't show any animations whatsoever. So you can't see this, for example. Although... Yeah, it still doesn't show particle effects, which is kind of dumb, but... Yeah, and I can even smile. So yeah, that was the, the white face video. Second one. Um, you guys already know Dear God. A lot of you really like this one, so I'm putting it on pedestal, of course. This is supposed to be SCP-096, but as you can see, he kind of got fucked up, so I have to re-upload him on this. This is Specimen 4, the one with the weird arms on the back. And then I have some empty space for all the recent ones I did, like 173 that's just, that I just made. Um... The Plague Doctor. Um, I think that's all, but I'm probably missing some. So yeah, uh, this world will be public soon. And not right after this video, but I'd say... Actually, I might do it after this video, yeah. So, if you're seeing this video right now, this world might be up in VR chat. Um, what will it be called? It will be called Additions Avatars, right there. This is what it will look like. So right now it's unlisted, but I will release this right after, try to release this right after this video with the new models here and fixing this one. That way you guys can, I don't know, you can go around with my models. <laughs> I have a lot of people asking me for them, so I'm finally going through with it. So, we basically reached the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now that the video is over, I think I can take this time to do a little advertisement. <laughs> so, I have a Patreon. If you guys want to su keep supporting the channel and you love what I'm doing, then you can go to the Patreon in the description below, or you can click it on screen right now. There should be a little eye popping up, eye symbol. Every little bit helps, even if it's like a dollar a month. It doesn't matter. It, everything is helpful because I really want to make YouTube my primary job. I want to keep doing this for as long as I can. The VR chat, VR videos, all that stuff. But obviously. I can't really do it quite yet. I'm still a small channel and YouTube still hasn't approved my channel for monetization. So right now I'm not really making any money doing this. So yeah, I'm just going through college and I can't quite get a job on the side. So with Patreon, you guys can support the channel or you can just donate during my streams whenever I actually stream because I know my schedule is a bit wonky. But yeah, I'd really, really appreciate it. And you get the honor of being a patron on my Discord, which gives you a purple name instead of all the different colors we have here. And if you're purple, everyone knows you're a patron, and you get your own little channel right here. Patron channel. So everyone you see in here is a patron. The only reason they are blue and gold is because they're admins. So admin overrides the patron color. But yeah, just a little incentive, I guess. If there's any more... I want to do more incentive for my patrons, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do. So, maybe in the future I will host a raid or do something crazy in VR chat and I'll invite only my patrons. And then we can all have like a crazy party together or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still thinking about what I want to do for you guys. Also, I want to take this time to recommend two friends of mine. One of them is Flare Snare. You guys have probably seen them already in a couple of my videos, especially these two right here that are on screen. So we had a lot of fun doing these, and if you want to see more of his content, he streams quite a lot, a lot more than I do. And he's planning on making like normal videos that he used to do. He used to just do videos, but he got quite into streaming. But he's going to continue making videos soon, so if you guys want to see what he's up to, you can go check out his channel, subscribe to him, and... Be ready to see us do some crazy shit in VR chat because it's never a normal time when me and Flare Snare are in the room. Never. I always gotta end up being awkward. <laughs> and that makes it fun. 
Also, check out my friend McCrackle. You've already seen him in my videos, just like Flair's name. So I highly recommend you go on his channel. He's actually really, really freaking good in making videos. He edits much better than I do. Right off the bat, I have to tell him, McCrackle, if you're watching this, you're so much better in editing than I am. I suck at editing. Yours are so well edited. I would totally pay you if I had money to edit my videos for me. But yeah, check him out. He makes some pretty entertaining videos. And he will show up in a lot more of my future videos. So, if you guys want to keep up with him, there they are. There they are. I hope I'm pointing at the right portion of the screen. Hold on. There. Hopefully they're right on my fingertips. <laughs> and that's it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for 20k. It's insane. I never even thought I would get this many. 10k was like my limit. <laughs> and here I am at 20k. Oh, it's so great. I don't I don't really know like what to do. <laughs> Even this video, I was like, oh, are they going to like this? Maybe I should do something more exciting. Uh, but hopefully, guys, you, you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you guys got some answers. Maybe you want to get to know me more. I hope you guys enjoyed the fan art, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.